God of miracles, I believe, I believe in you. I wanted to ask you, Israel, a little bit of what was happening with your wife. Uh, microphone, if you can give him a mic. Uh, can I? Can you okay, hold the microphone for him? Uh huh. Uh huh. Also, <clears throat> it, it was just a constant battle. Like, uh, like it was. I I put like a, it was like a weed that uh, we had to chop it all the time because he he would like grow and he, he manifests really bad, the screaming. And stuff. She was so she was manifesting. Every day, uh, like every other day. Every other day. Yeah, we we, pr we Hold pray. It mm -hmm. Yeah, we go to pray for prayer, or or I pray in the house, and we just start binding the enemy and rebuking it, and then. It and just, even these manifestations would happen in the stores. Sometimes in the stores. In the stores. But mostly, we like in in church, like in church settings. Couldn't stand the God's presence. Mm -hmm. oh. Sorry. Just hold it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why we have microphone holding. It just, not everybody's used to the, it's not that easy to hold this microphone, this weapon. Amen. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you've been, you guys have been to many churches seeking prayer. This is not the first time, nor was this the last time that she was getting prayed for. Yeah, it was, it was we went to a lot of different churches. Uh, I think it was like, um, Besides from here, it was like four different churches yeah, mm -hmm. that they, they do deliverance. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just, we're just desperate because uh, you see, it was still there. It, could, it wouldn't go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was happening for a year. Yeah, it was, it was a year. Mm -hmm. And you guys are all the way from Walla Walla. Yes, yes, we're from Walla Walla. So you drive from Walla Walla here. Yeah. Every Sunday. Every, every Sunday, yeah. And every Sunday, you would, you guys would bring, you, you would bring her. She would come, and then. When we would have a service, a little bit more of fuego and manifestations. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when there was no fuego, no manifestations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is how we knew when the service was powerful. Um, question I have for you. Um, tell us a little bit about what was going on with you at the time. Not only on the video, but you manifested almost every prayer line this was a, a almost a, a battle for a year what was going on in your head what was going on with you cuéntanos un poco de lo que estaba sucediendo al transcurso del año cuando tú te estabas manifestando cuando había la oración qué es lo que estaba pasando en tu mente y pues en tu cuerpo cuando uh, estaban orando uh, en mí Uh, pasaba en mi mente había luchas como diciendo no 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 hoy no hoy no y ten, como en mi casa siempre tenía como luchas en mi mente y luego aparte en mi boca como me decía perece eh, eh, me decía vaca me decía Uh, cosas feas que uh, me, a veces me deprimía mucho pero cuando yo estaba aquí hay veces que en mi mente yo decía uh, había personas aquí uh, en frente cuando estaban haciendo liberación yo decía lo mío ya está hecho ya está hecho yo oraba por las personas que estaban ahí incluso sentía como dolor uh, siento cada que veo personas que se están liberando siento dolor en mi corazón porque yo pasé por ese proceso. So she says during, during this process she was feeling um, a lot of torment in her mind and whenever she would come up or even in other situations she would begin to hear these thoughts but then she would also like it was like something spoke through her and it was, she would say things like die but speaking of herself and she would say um, things like you're a cow or you're like just really negative things about herself but she would declare them through her mouth and so um these were kind of the things that were going on like constantly um the breakthrough really happened each each prayer the prayers were offered it was helping but the breakthrough really happened when you guys received prayer through zoom 
at the Emmanuel TV. This poisonous substance as we pray for her. Out! Fuera! Come out! Fuera! Out! Fuera! Vomit it out right now! Fuera mismo. Out! Everything not of God! Come Vomit out! Out! That Fuera. spirit behind your affliction! Come out! Come out. Everything not of God! Come out! Fuera. Out! Fuera. Out! Fuera. Receive the touch of God! Come out! De Jesus. Be released! Fuera. Be released! You are free in Eres Jesus' sano. name! Wow, come on, let's give the Lord a clap offering. What happened here? ¿Qué es lo que sucedió en el video? Uh, fue algo uh, de repentino cuando yo cuando estaban uh, de hecho pues nos tenían en nosotros estamos viendo en un uh, celular pero cuando cuando me dijeron you free yo dije soy libre en, soy libre y declaraba soy libre y soy libre porque Dios es fuerte y poderoso. She said that it was really out of, it was all of the sudden that it happened. <laughs> it was all of the sudden that it happened uh, when she was called out. She was just watching through the video and they were praying and then they declared that she is free and she truly believed it. And she was. What happened to your wife after that? Oh, um, so... So it just uh, it changed because uh, we we were just constantly battling, like almost every day. So after that, she just kind of got filled with faith and said, "I'm free, I'm free, I feel different." And, and then it's just you so. Know. Which, what else changed? What difference you see now? Uh, the, because every almost every day she would be like, "I'm I'm tired of this. I, you know, I I, I want this to end." And uh, it was just done. And it's no longer there now? No, no longer. I mean, it's still, sometimes we feel battles, but we should say, hey, we're free. They declare us free. And we're going to believe we're free. Uh, yeah, and it's just, it's just about, yeah. Deliverance. Deliverance removes bondage, but it does not remove battles. Devils go from being on the inside to go on the outside, where we are still called to resist them amen when they are expelled and how do you feel now and how long has it been now that you've been feeling that well, after you received the prayer the declaration that you are free how how long it's been now and how do you feel cuánto tiempo ha sido desde que usted fue declarada libre y cuáles son las diferencias que usted puede contarnos que ha sentido ah uh, eso fue hace aproximadamente 22 días que fui libre pero me siento diferente hasta en mi piel me siento diferente me sentía como presionada y ahora me siento libre me siento libre al hablar a, a hablar con mis hijas porque era a veces se metía en las conversaciones con mis hijas las asustaba y hacía gestos uh, se burlaba y ahora me siento libre, soy libre. <laughs> She's saying that before she would sometimes scare her daughters because of the, the things that would come out of her mouth, but ever since then she doesn't have that struggle anymore. She's completely free. Even she says that even her skin feels different. She just feels completely free. Come on, somebody, spam that chat. Give God some praise right now. If you rejoice with somebody else, God will give you your own victory. Amen. You know, I, uh, I saw them almost every week. And so for those of you who are in Hungry Jan, we know their story. Um, a lot of suffering in this family a lot of suffering a lot of pain it's been it's been a while already we've been standing in faith for complete and total deliverance and i remember after i was in florida on the vacation and when you send the text message hey we just got prayed for in um, through the scoen uh, interactive on the zoom she's totally delivered i was so happy and then i saw them next morning on sunday she looked completely different 
she looked even the way she is right now she looks completely different where she was before the face of a person changes when you get delivered and so deliverance is essential it's time to make deliverance great again in Jesus name let's give the Lord a clap offering amen I love I love how you said this I love how you said this that when you were declared free you believed it and uh, yes <laughs> What would be your advice to people that are in prayer? We have a hundred people today that are going to be in a prayer line. What would be your advice to somebody who is going through this stuff right now? Uh, just to uh, believe and uh, just cry out with all your heart. Because uh, that's one of the things that they had us do. They said, uh, don't, don't talk. You guys cry out with all your heart. But don't talk. He said, just cry out with all your heart. And say, Son of David, have mercy on us. Amen. Amen. And what about you? What is your advice to those people that are in the prayer line today? ¿Cuál sería su consejo a los a las personas que están escuchando? Que nunca pierdan esperanza, porque Dios es poderoso y y tiene en sus manos su situación, y él es poderoso. Y no hay nadie que pueda contra su poder. Nunca pierdan la esperanza y, y orar por su causa. Never, the advice that she would give is never lose hope because there is no power that is greater than Jesus. 